guys, what's up, Jonathan here from Infinite Potential Films and today we're going to be showing you how to make the UFO shot from the morning routine film. Stay safe and stay... Uh, this is going to be a very very quick tutorial we're just going to go over the basics here nothing too complicated so uh, first thing is first you want to drag your footage in and make sure that you've got a really good clean plate of a sky so there's a lot of movement in this shot itself and I said to Jessica that, that would be absolutely fine um, if you'd prefer to do a tripod shot for this it might be a bit easier but this shot's a very straightforward so first thing first, I'm going to um, split the track in three where the shot uh, itself, the VFX shot is going to begin. Uh, so I'm going to split it here and I'm also going to split it down. Uh, say when she's turning round. Yeah, so when she's turning round. So then what you want to do from there is you're going to move over to tracking your footage. So you're going to go down to the side here and go to track camera and you're going to speed through that and then you're going to be given a load of points. Unfortunately we don't have any for the sky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the three on the fence here, create solid in camera and I'm going to play around with the orientation. So when you've got the orientation to something that you prefer, something straight on like this, what you're going to want to do is move it back in Z space because this thing is meant to be very very large so I'm happy with that there then you want to go and grab your UFO and whilst you're selected the track solid if you hold alt whilst you drag the UFO on top it will automatically stick to that solid then just scale up and play with the orientation I tried to stick with something that I did on the original video and then what you're going to want to do is just scrub through and make sure it looks okay so that looks good there and then you're going to want to go into the um, effects at the top go under color correction and then go to curves and what we're going to do here is we're going to be playing with the black levels to make sure that it looks like it's quite distant so that's something i'm happy with there and then you're going to go to um, duplicate your layer and drop the opacity on one of them what you want to do is you want to drop the bottom one to around 40 80 and then grab the mask tool draw a rough mask around half of the UFO and then make sure that you feather it out and expand the mask and what this is going to do is it's going to create a distance effect and it's going to make it look like the back end of the UFO is further away then you're just going to add another UFO layer over the top of that and this is going to be for the center beam, do the exact same thing where you expand the mask and feather it to make sure that the beam looks like it's a strong source of light. Then all you're going to do again is create another track solid using the same 3D camera trap we did before and then we're going to add our sky in over it and we're going to play around with the orientation and scale here change the blending mode to soft light and create a mask around it again play with the feathering and the expansion of the mask and then this looks like the ufo is slightly further away now remember guys this is just a quick tutorial i went into a lot more detail when it came to the final vfx shot that i presented to jessica um, again i'm just making sure that everything looks okay here and um, what you're going to want to do now is add a curve, another curve to your UFO and bring the highlights up when the first frame of the shot is beginning and then as you go further into the shot create a keyframe to drop the curves back to normal and what this is going to do is it's going to make the camera exposure rate match the in-shot footage then we're going to make another track solid here and this is going to be our beam so the beam plugins that I'm using is Saber from Video Copilot. This is 100% free and I'll put it in the description below. Um, and then you get a load of cool presets with this. So I'm going to set the blending mode to screen. And I think I went with heat um, when I lined everything up because it gave sort of a UFO beam look. So I'm happy with that there. And then what I'm going to do is create a mask around it to go behind the buildings. And then I'm going to change the alpha mode to uh, mask core. 
So then we're going to get the glow fall off, which is going to give it that realistic approach. Then all I'm going to do is create a keyframe for the start and end of the beam, so it looks like that the beam is flying down, and I'm happy with that. Next, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to New Layer, and we're going to go to Adjustment Layer, and then we're going to go to Effects and Presets, type in Wiggle, then drag that on top of your Adjustment Layer. All you're going to do here is mess with the scale, bring it up to about 110, then you can mess with the wiggle speed and wiggle amount depending on when you want your camera to start shaking. Uh, I landed on something quite drastic for the final shot of the film, but here I went with something quite subtle. Always make sure that your anchor point is in the center of the image, and then what I tend to do now is just go over it with a nice uh, flare from Video Copilot. Obviously, as I mentioned in my previous tutorial, you can use the built in ones with After Effects, but I think that. Video Copilot have a lot of really good effects that are a good investment for filmmakers, especially starting out. So after you've blended all that together, you're going to end up with something like this. Stay safe and stay... So remember guys, I've just gone over the very basic stuff in this tutorial video, obviously with Jessica's final clip I went into a lot more detail with motion blur and things like that, but I wanted to give you an overall idea of how I created this shot from scratch. Don't forget that all these assets that I've used in here are from Shutterstock, but there are amazing free stock websites out there that you can get images from. Uh, I'll put a couple of them in the description bar below as well as links to Video Copilot's plugins. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if there's any questions that you have please ask them below. Until next time, stay safe and consider subscribing.